Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Moss Tree Village. I am Mayor Siri, your mushroom-loving, flower-loving mayor, and we are here outside of the Riverside Roost, getting ready to go inside and enjoy our morning cup of delicious peach tea, which I actually have on the desk right next to me right now, too. Actually, I think this one's like lemon tea, but you know what? It's a citrus. It'll have to do in a pinch. Good morning, Brewster. How are you doing today? Yes, yes, let's have some of that tea. I'm not really a coffee fan, but I'll take some of your delicious tea. I'm hoping uh, as the days go by and we stop our morning, or we begin our morning, I should say. Stopping our morning would be very ineffective. But we can begin our morning as mayor here in Brewster's Cafe. Eventually, I might be able to unlock the little, um, I think it's like a part-time job you can do for him. That's all I've heard about. Uh, the job that Brewster can do like you can work for him and you can do a little part-time job making coffee for some of the villagers And I think that sounds adorable Especially because I try to be a good mayor of service Brewster, how are you today? Doing pretty good? Just welcome? Nothing else? <laughs> Please take a seat, Koo. Well, it's very nice to see you this morning too, Brewster. So nobody inside of his little cafe today. Maybe I should put up some signs about it. So, oh, that would be actually be kind of cute to use our little sign and like advertise things that are happening in the village. That'd be adorable. But yeah, so it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I want to spend, oh, there's a fossil. I want to spend some time working with some of our villagers. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. We'll have to turn these fossils into Brewster because I think now my pockets are full. Ah, and my pockets are indeed full of some pretty special things that I have to show you guys. All right, so let's go home. First things first, well, let's shake this tree just in case. Nope, nothing come, came down from it. My pockets are full of something very, very special that showed up not only in my mail, but the mail of my other two characters, Museum and Garden. And are you guys ready to see everything that I managed to collect from my very, very frantic, very excited day yesterday? I spent forever collecting up as many meow coupons as I possibly could so that I could order pretty much every single item that Nat had in his little RV. And thankfully, we managed to achieve that very goal. We now have the jungle wall. We have the jungle floor. So look at this. Look at this. We have a jungle room now. <gasps> this is so cool. I really want to... Oh, and the lizard fits in here so well. And the plants fit in here fantastically. I really want to change some things up. I'm going to... Oh, dang it. All right. I've got to clean up a little bit if I want to have uh, any hope of being able to show off the rest of the items to you guys. Let me throw some fossils on the ground really quickly. Which really isn't going to help things if my goal... There we go. Well, that's a four, four tile item. So we should have enough space to look over some things now. So I went and I got the wall and the floor. These are both things you can get from the museum eventually once you donate enough things. I don't think we had enough things. So I'm really excited to have them in my home right now. And I already checked and I can indeed reorder these from the catalog, which is fantastic. You can actually reorder almost everything that Nate had or Nat, excuse me, had except... Let's see my lucky frog. I got my lucky frog back because I thought it would look good in here. We got the autumn chair. So check this out. Nice little autumn chair. I'm just going to put it down. I don't really think it sort of matches. I wish it was like a leafy green chair. I don't think it matches the ambiance that we have going here in the jungle room now. Quite as much as everything else. And the mushrooms fit into the jungle room so well. I am so happy. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. We also got do, 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 the sprout table. I'm so happy. I think this is actually like a bug off contest reward uh, or a D DLC piece, depending on what I looked at. But I just could not. I, I just did not manage to get it from the bug off this year because it was my very first bug off. So we've got the sprout table now, which I think is very fun. And then what else do we have? That's my lucky frog. We have the leaf bed. I am so happy. I will have this as my bed, my little leaf bed. Isn't this fantastic? I love this. I totally love this. A leaf bed. That is so me. That is so 100% me. So I'm very excited about the leaf bed. And then, yes, we do have the sparrow's nest. We also have the pile of leaves, which I can reorder, which are really fun. So this would be really great in the mushroom room that we'll make in the botanical garden, I think. Because now you can run over and it's just this rustle, rustle, rustle. Look at these cute little leaves. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. 
but you can come and play in them. So I definitely want to put like the autumn chair with the mushroom set in one of our botanical garden rooms, if not just straight up inside of my house, because as mayor, I think I should be allowed to um, enjoy the things I really, really love. And I really, really, really love leaves. And then I also got the sparrow's nest. So check this out. I'm not sure. <gasps> Oh my gosh! They make peeping noises! You guys! Oh my gosh! I am so in love right now! I'm a mama sparrow! I'm in charge of these little babies! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my goodness! This is, it sounds just like the background of my videos all the time with all of the babies that I have when my finches are breeding, doesn't it? Do you guys remember Chickenberry? She's a big girl now. She could have her own babies if she wanted to. That's so fantastic. And so out of all of the things that we got from Nat yesterday, the sparrow nest is the only thing that you cannot reorder from the catalog. So everything else, I can get multiple sprout tables, I can get multiple chairs, I can get multiple beds if I wanted to, but we cannot 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 reorder the sparrows so the sparrows i'm actually tempted to like try to get a little nat amiibo card because they do exist it turns out and try to get the little amiibo reader thing i've never done that before but i would summon him back and i would fill up this room with baby sparrows if i could uh, i'm gonna put the baby sparrows over here so that i can find where's my little baby sparrows you guys go right there yeah and i'm gonna put the little pile of leaves right under you because I can walk up to you then and be like, good morning, guys. <gasps> oh, that's so adorable. I am so happy. And it looks like they're up in the tree when they're up on the, the um, tree trunk back there. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. It looks like they're sitting on the tree trunk. That's fantastic. I'll put the coconut palm down over here. So now we have a gigantic, chaotic, messy room. Just like before, just like before. Also, is this a mushroom? What are you doing down here, little mushroom? Are you the elegant mushroom? No, he's just a normal round mushroom. Well, I can actually sell him. I don't want to, but you know, you can only keep so many mushrooms and we still have an entire month of mushrooms to enjoy. So speaking of mushrooms and mushroom season, let me go ahead and put away a few of these things. The outdoor bath I want to stay. The sprout table wants to stay. Lucky frog. Um, hmm. Does a lucky frog look okay in here now? Hmm. He does have a baby frog on his back. He does. So you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll keep him again. All right. And I have no idea how I'm going to arrange these things. Everything is a chaotic mess. I should probably sell some things. Uh, I am okay with selling the flower reef, I think. Uh, or putting it in front of the botanical garden, at least. All right. So let me go ahead and put down... Where's the lucky frog again? There's so many things. <laughs> Actually, here, I wonder if I can put the lucky frog on top of the sprout table. So, oh, yeah, I can't pick that up either. Okay, well, we've got to get down. We've got to put down some stuff. So let me just put down lucky frog. Mr. Lucky frog, I'm going to tuck you down in this corner over here. There you go, you with your baby. And then over here, I want to put in the leaf bed. Do, 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 maybe. Or maybe I should put the sprout table over here. Who knows? How's it look? Pretty darn good. I love it. And maybe I can go ahead and put some of the things on top of it. Uh, like, do, do, do the wheat bundle? No, it has to go on the ground. Interesting. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Well, um, <laughs> let me just put some things in the dresser and we will, we will have a rearranging the house day in the future. Also, I really need to get the secret storage at some point too. Hmm. I've got an interesting amount of things interesting amount of things overflowing in my my pockets uh let's go ahead and we can get rid of this pitfall seed and then leave the outdoor bath here wheat bundle for sure can't get rid of that wheat bundle it's a special limited edition item oh and here's the, my little mushroom pile so i'll just drop the mushroom off there and let's see common wall i will be changing probably back to the common wall in the daisy meadow daisy meadow we have to be very careful to keep because the daisy meadow is actually um a limited edition item and we have the bathhouse wall and the flower pop carpet from sahara's visit too so i have to make sure those can be reordered before i sell those all right so it is mushroom season you guys so let's head out we're going to start exploring the town and let's check on our meow coupons for today so we can see what we need to do 
So flower power, moss tree should always be in bloom. Plant some flower seeds around town. And curb pill, your home's outside should look as good as its inside. Order a new exterior from Nick Holmes. I can definitely handle that. All right, you guys ready for this? Uh, Caesar, good morning. Oh, and Genji's talking. Hey, Siri, you up for old pep this early in the morning, Highness. So, you want to talk to me? So, what's up? What's up, Caesar? You get along well with Mary, by chance. Us, well, we'll say hello if we run into each other. She's got her business, I've got mine, but we don't have much in common. To be honest, I might not come off this way, but I actually have a fear of strangers, Highness. Oh, and then Genji, how are you? Yo, we meet again, Otaku. What can I help you with? You wanted to say something? Got time for a jog right now? The destination will be your house. Ha, huh, what do you say? Could be tons of fun, me guess. All right, all right, Genji. This will only take a second, especially because he's been so good about buying all the fossils. He actually bought the Ankylosaurus skull when I was off camera and going in to retail. So Genji really is building up this huge fossil collection. And as a result, he is actually helping out quite a bit with padding my pockets. And that means I have more availability to take care of more things in town. So Genji, what do you think? Uh, Genji, I kind of, it feels like I have him over for magic tea, uh, and I say magic tea because of the fact that there's like, <laughs> we have, <laughs> look at this, I really do feel like we have him over just to, to kind of enjoy some magic tea and groceries and omelets and who knows what else. Uh, Genji, do you want to see my sparrows? They're really cute, actually. I'm very, very, very in love with them. Here, come over here. Come over here, Genji. No, hold still. Genji, I'm trying to get a cool picture with you. All right, what's up? Hey. Scooch over here. Okay. I can't really position him where I want him. There we go. There we go. No, Genji, stay. Okay. Magic tea with Genji. There, I'm happy because we have a little magic lamp. I don't need any tea. I'm more into protein shakes. <laughs> okay, Wisp, you escaped being poured into somebody's coffee this time or in somebody's tea this time. All right. Damburi, you like this stuff too? Well, I'm in training right now, so don't make me an offer, Otaku. What else do you like in here, Genji? It's fun to learn about folks by checking out their homes. Yeah, you've learned that the mayor is a pack rat. Sorry about that. So is this the kind of environment a cool kid like you is used to? Hmm. If I, if I get used to it too, does that mean I'm cool? Oh, Genji. Watch out for whatever's inside of the, uh, the cauldron, by the way. I can't really vouch for those kinds of things. Ew, Genji. Anything else? Uh, do you have one? My house is the house of a billion push-ups. <laughs> That's probably a very, very good thing. Come on, Genji, let's go. All right, so we need to plant some flowers. <laughs> and we need to plant some flowers, and we need to go buy a new exterior for our house, which is not something I would normally do. So that's a really fun thing to have as our daily meow coupon. Oh, are you shaking trees? I'll shake trees with you too, Caesar. All right, and then let's shake this tree. Why not, Caesar? So nothing down here. So I actually want to turn this into a new garden. Uh, what kind? I have some flower seeds on me right now. Oh, white lilies. White lilies would be really good. I actually do want to turn this into a new experimental garden. We have our little autumn garden up here and it's really doing quite well. And I want to spread the orange and black lilies all over the place. But it occurred to me, I do also, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a little bug. Oh, it's so cute. I do also want to try to get it so we can start getting some of the purple and blue roses and maybe even some of the gold roses. So I need to start kind of scooching the roses around and trying to make a better rose garden. And I also want to start pulling up the flowers that don't match our current theme, like either because I don't want that kind of flower in town or because I don't want that color for the time. All right, so I'm going to plant the yellow or the white lilies right there for a second. Do I have my little watering can on me? I sure do. I'm going to go ahead and hold it because it's about time to become a little bit more organized. So let's go ahead and move these violets. Oh, look, and there's one of the mushrooms. I'm gonna go gather it in just a second. And, oh, there's another mushroom, there's another violet. Oh gosh. All right, we've got quite a few colors. So what are the different colors? We have purple and we have white. And then, let's see, then we have the, the white lilies that are kind of mixed in with the violets. So I don't know what color the violets can come in. I'm not sure if the violets, uh, if I can make blue violets, that would be really fun. But let's go ahead and put these two white lilies next to each other or these three white lilies next to each other. And we'll see if that does something. So I'll plant them right here. There we go. And then I'll move these roses. And then we'll go and start gathering up in just a moment. There you go, little lilies. 
we will go and start gathering up the mushrooms because I think sorting flowers and figuring out what order to put the flowers in so that I can start getting um, some special some special colors from them. That's going to take a little while, especially because I'm sort of trying to keep the flowers a little bit more organized. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's go buy some bushes from Leaf and we will kind of like mark out a different area with bushes. And so we'll know that area. Oh, is that a mantis? Da na 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 na. He's gonna fight me. Gotcha. <laughs> There you go, cutie. And then we'll know that that area is going to be where we will keep colors that don't really blend in with the rest of town because we're doing experiments. Yay! All right, let's go get them. Oh, the lunch. I have to say hello to you and then I have to go get the mushroom. Here you are again, Belle S. You really get around, don't you? Quite so. What would you like to talk about? I've been having a hard time redecorating my house, Belle S. I just need a certain something, but I'm just not sure what it is. Hey, could you possibly find something for me, quite so? Yes, please find me something that will make my home decor great again, Bellas. Oh, do I have just the thing. Fresh caught just for you, Blanche. You like it? It's a praying mantis. I think that you would like it. It kind of fits the theme of your home, if you ask me. Why, that's so lively. I suppose we'll have to set an extra plate for dinner from now on. Who knew you'd pick something that's alive? Well, I'll take a chance on exotic decor. And I'll find a place for it in my home just as soon as I can. I promise, Bellas. Well, yay, Blanche. I hope she enjoys it. All right, what's she going to give us? <gasps> An item. Thank you, Blanche. Here you go. You really... A regal table. Wow. That's more regal stuff. So between her and Caesar, they've been trying to give me the whole regal set. So I guess they probably want me to actually have more of like a castle theme in my house or more of like a, a, a aristat aristatic, there we go, theme in my home. And that's not really what we're going for. So sorry, guys. Caesar, do you see this mushroom? It's the best. Okay, I got the mushroom. All right, do we have any mushrooms over here? No. Do we have anything in this tree? No. What about this tree? Ooh, money. I will take the money. Thank you very much. And yeah, one day soon we will have like a flower arranging day. Oh yeah, and then because today is Sunday, oh, and let's check our special tree stump for anything. Nope. And because today is Sunday, we are actually going to be spending some time with the fortune cookies. I'm not sure if I'll have time today for a Dreamtown tour. And I am starting to gather up from the list that you guys gave me of your towns. So I'm very excited about that. Yay, more money! So I am very, very excited about that. No, Pitbull! I need to find this and bury it. I keep forgetting to bury the seed. Do I have one on me? I do. We'll go bury it on our little town tour in just a second. But yes, I do want to start visiting your guys' towns. <gasps> mushroom! Yay! I do want to start visiting your guys' towns too. And what do we get? We got our daily mushroom, you guys. Our daily mushroom furniture. A mushroom stool. Okay, we'll go look at it in just a second. I'm gathering up money from trees. Possibly about to catch myself some bees. Gotta be careful. All right, let's go ahead and you can actually... Oh no, I'm almost out of space. Oh wait, if I put the money away, it'll be okay. Uh, and I found out that you can actually shake trees now while you are holding items. What do you think about that? Oh, hey, Joan's here. Hey, Joan. That was really fun going shopping with Joan and when she was visiting in her little RV. All right, nothing in these trees. No mushrooms. What about you? Nothing in this tree. Now, purple flowers are beautiful and I am totally okay with purple flowers once we work into, uh, yay, more money, once we work into like winter, but I want to have yellows and oranges and reds and blacks down right now. So, and I, I don't think I want spruce trees, pine trees. I didn't go fast enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> she was swinging it and everything. I couldn't really see where they were coming from. Darn, we'll go get some medicine in just a second. All right, let's get this fossil. We'll have to take our fossils over to Blathers. Oh, and we need to go check who's at the campsite today. And like I was saying, because today is Sunday, we do also have to... Okay, still looking for my last mushrooms. We do need to go and get the fortune cookies and open up our fortune cookies because I've decided Sundays are going to be our fortune cookie day. So, oh, look at that Genji and Aurora are hanging out. That's so sweet. Oh, and they're so happy. I'm glad they're happy together. <gasps> Mushroom. There we go. All right, do we have all of them? I have one, two, three, and then I got the mushroom furniture already. So we're still missing one more. How are you doing, Genji? Glad you're feeling good. What happened to your face? 
You were stung by bees. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably go take some medicine in a second. Are you still happy, Genji? Man, I need a jogging buddy. I need someone who can take off for a run at a drop of a hat. Someone who I can just be myself with, like Kit Kat or Big Top. I can't imagine those two jogging together, though. <laughs> Aurora is so sweet. I'm glad that she's having a good time with Genji. There's Blanche. There's Caesar. Chatter is sort of, like, withdrawing lately. Oh, there's Mary! She's actually out and about for once. Whoops, and I just, like, bonked her in the rump with a shovel. She's out and about for once. What in the world happened to your gorgeous face, Siri? That does not look good. If you have any medicine, I think now's the time to use it. <laughs> Get well soon. Hey Siri, what's going on, Moe? I heard this rumor that Cricket is in right now. The Cricket? I just have to have one. Do you think you can catch one for me? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> oh, I wonder if crickets are going to be out right now, though. Oh, there's the last mushroom! Yes, all right. So we got the very last mushroom. Today we have skinny mushroom, flat mushroom, round mushroom, and flat mushroom. Wonderful. I might drop these off outside of the botan botanical garden, and no extra mushrooms around this stump today. And then we will go over and go up to Blathers. Do, 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 do. Bury this little pit seed way over at the edge of town and bury. There we go. Now nobody should be bothered <laughs> by falling into those pits anymore. All right, and let's wiggle this way. Yeah, I think I might remove the pine trees. I'm just not really into pine trees. So let's go to Blathers really quickly. And we're going to turn in our fossils. We're going to go snag our fortune cookies. We'll check. I don't have any meow. Oh, wait. I might have one meow coupon. <gasps> That's right. To Nook. Okay, so Blathers, then Nook. And we'll see if we can buy a new exterior from Nook for upgrading our house in some way. And then we'll head over to Tommy and Timmy's just to check what's going on inside of there and grab the fortune cookies. Oh, I think I need to open the fortune cookies and, like, give them the tickets. I think that's how it works. <laughs> Hello, Blathers. I don't blame you if you don't recognize me. Uh, I have a little bit of a case of bee face at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and turn these fossils in. Dun dun dun! There you go, Blathers! I think that's all my fossils from today. I'm not sure. Anything new? Oh, nope. Everything already on display. Wow. I might drop them off outside the museum then. I think I need to get the museum house a dresser too. But no, they have the... I can just put things in the um, the storage. I can just put thing in, things in the storage in the train station until I can find a dresser. All right. Anything up here? Oh my. What is this? Celeste, this is new. Can I see it? I do beg your pardon. I was just dressing my eyes. Reception table. Oh, that's really cool. I, I think I'm okay for now, though. There we go. Yeah, I'm okay. I don't think we need the reception table. All right, what's down here? Celeste, what's this? It's the museum wall. Okay, no, we're all right. I'm good, thank you. She's so sweet. I really love Celeste. All right, so let's go ahead and see. We have mammoth torso, skull, dinosaur track, and neck. Nice, so a little dinosaur track. We can just go ahead and leave that in here, perhaps. Well, I really prefer to put things down. Hmm, That's sort of a struggle. All right, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and put one dinosaur track back here at the very least. So people can see that this room is a little bit more filled out. But I do like to actually put most of our fossils down at the museum house. Because then people will be able to see them when they visit our, our place as a dream town. Though it's going to be a little while before we have a dream town. Alright, so I think we'll go visit Nook and we'll see if there's something we can upgrade the exterior with. And then that will give us three meow coupons for the day. But the good news is, if we don't find anything that we really, really, really want uh, to the campsite, now I know how important it is to actually save up your meow coupons. And I also learned you can only order three things per character per day at the campsite. Welcome, welcome. All right, Mr. Nook, what do you have? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I actually like this. I, I hadn't really noticed this before, but I like the brick pavement. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do the brick pavement. I will help make all the necessary arrangements and everything will be completed tomorrow. Exciting. All right, we're going to get brick pavement, you guys, which means that hopefully that will give us... Yes! Meow coupons! They're coming to us. Oh, and look, 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 look. I think the meow coupons... Yay! They're going to refresh Monday morning, so we'll have more to work on tomorrow. Yay! Bye, Mr. Nook. 
But yeah, I think having that brick pavement is actually going to work really well with the autumn theme of what we're trying to do in our town for now. All right, so that's done. And I think I have to go get my fortune cookies and like you open them up in Tommy and Timmy's shop and that's how it works. <laughs> but I'm going to buy two of them right now. And then I'm going to buy some medicine so that I can just go ahead and treat myself with some of the medicine. I swear he's had that jukebox for sale for forever. Thank you, Timmy. All right, let me go ahead and use it. Do, do, do. Take the medicine. Yes, I'm all better. <laughs> I know it's just cosmetic, but it's very distracting. Yes. All right, I have just enough play coins. There we go. All right, so if you bring us the lucky ticket inside, we'll exchange it for a special prize. So rare. All right, let me go ahead and buy this one. And then I'm going to head down and we're going to drop all of the mushrooms off in front of the botanical garden and the fossils off, except for the petra wing. I'm going to just go ahead and sell the petra wing and we'll drop the fossils off in front of the museum house. Oh, I forgot I was already here today. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll buy this guy too. Have I gotten this one yet? I don't think so. Yes, please, please leave. I definitely want to buy it. Oh, and while we're here, you guys. Oh, I don't have any room. <laughs> Leaf, I'm sorry. It always happens this way. I'm always like, yeah, I'll buy the plant and get his hopes up and take out my wallet. And then he has to like say, well, um, actually, you don't have any space. All right. So let's go drop our, our mushrooms off. Let's go drop the fossils off. Let's collect our meow, cu meow coupons. And then let's go see who is at the campsite today. Isn't that so much fun? I love the little daily quest. And there's Mary. I need to find her a cricket. So if we happen to stumble on a cricket just jumping around... That's a locust, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's not a cricket. Hey, come back here. No, come back. Where'd you go? Get back over here, you little guy. No, 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 no. Nope. I know that's not even the one we're looking for, so I'll just leave him alone. All right, so let's come on down. Hello, Blanche. Don't mind me. I saw something. I can't even catch a locust. That's okay. And we will drop off... Let's see, put on ground, put on ground, put on ground, and put on ground these mushrooms so the botanical garden can put them away. And then we will drop off do -do -do, the mammoth torso because having a tiny little mammoth would be so cool. And the plesio neck, but I think I'll go ahead and try selling the petra skull because I don't really think I need it. Oh, and then I forgot to look at what, oh yeah, the real table. All right, mush stool stays with us. And I need to open up these fortune cookies, but I can sell these things. Okay, so it's all organized. There we go. All right, let's go get our meow coupons and check and see what is for sale. Oh, hey, <laughs> Mary, are you admiring the fact the meow coupon kind of thing looks kind of like your, your face? All right, so what do you want to talk about? Oh, that's right, a cricket. I need to get her the cricket. I can't believe I already forgot. All right, there we go. So now we have three new coupons. And let's go ahead and head on up and let's go see who's at the campsite. Yes! It's so much fun to see what Harvey is selling and it's so much fun to see what like the campsite people might be. Birdos, I love all of you. Oh gosh, you're everywhere and you're so cute. Hi. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay, he's still selling the watering can. So that's a good thing. And what are these? Ah, so you're interested in my autograph cards. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I suppose I could let them go for five meow coupons. I wonder if those are like the autographs of people who have worked on the game. That would be really fun. All right, all right, no worries. We get new stuff coming through every day, so come back soon. Thank you, Harvey. Oh my gosh. All right, and <gasps> you guys, I think it's Gulliver. That's my guess, that's my guess. I'm getting really good at guessing on the exterior of the RVs now because of the designs that are on the, oh my gosh, Gulliver. Some say he's the worst swimmer to ever be called a seller, which would be why he's trying out a new form of land-based adventure, camping. Gulliver, hi! Going from campground to campground is a lot like traveling from port to port. But being in a car is great because you get to make pit stops and get out to stretch any old time. Doing that on a boat is called jumping overboard. <laughs> Gulliver. Most people have to earn their sea legs, but mine are already attached. It's land legs that elude me. Luckily, I'm able to maintain my composure when, I, when I'm at the helm of my camper. Oh my gosh, look at this thing he's got. And the floor. This is so cool. This would be really fun for um, like one of our, our ocean rooms. That would be kind of neat. Is there anything in here that I'm really super duper in love with? 
So there's Tropical Vista, Sandy Beach Floor, which is really cool, a ball, a beach table, a life ring, volleyball net, wave breaker. Okay, so he actually has like the least amount of stuff out of everybody I've seen. And I think I'm okay right now because it'll be a long time before I can even get more rooms expanded uh, to be able to think about doing a little themed room like this. This would be a great summer theme room for the museum though. One of the things I want to start doing with the, both the museum and the botanical garden is the first room you walk into, I will change every season so that whenever you guys come visit the dream town, it'll be different each time. All right, so that's actually interesting. First day, other than the watering can that I kind of want, but I kind of want to save my meow coupons for tomorrow too. First day, I've not bought something from the campsite, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so what do we need to do today? We've got our meow coupons. Fortune cookies, that's going to be our last thing, other than maybe trying to find a cricket somewhere. I don't think I can find a cricket for Mary right now. That's such a pity. Well, let's give it just a little bit of a look, I guess, and I can go ahead and pull up these extra flowers and put these extra flowers out around town to go with the theme that we have. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant an orange one right here then. There we go, so hopefully that'll continue to expand. And do I have my little watering can actually? I'm not gonna water, I need, I need my silver watering can so that you can water like all of these really, really quickly. Kind of like Harvest Moony. I have too much Harvest Moonness in my blood to be able to <laughs> just pass up a whole bunch of plants that need watered. All right, come on little one. I think I totally did miss you. All right, we won't water too many more, just the black ones, because having black lilies is supposed to be a really, really good thing, because apparently they're a little hard to get. There we go. All right, so let's see. Now, do I see a cricket anywhere? I don't think so. Oh wait, that's not a cricket. That's a locust. <laughs> and I can donate some of my excess funds to Lloyd. How's our water well fund going? Still kind of far away because I haven't had a chance in ages now to go and do our beetle collecting on the island So maybe we'll have to do that at some point in the future. No camper today. Is that rock always supposed to be there? That's what I thought and what is this? Is this a gold nugget? Cool, it's a gold nugget. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and plant some of these extra flowers over here just kind of in a little, yeah, we'll just let them kind of go down however they want. Maybe the black one sort of over here. There we go. And then this might increase the chances of them deciding to spread on their own, which would be very helpful. And that one right there. Okay, and let's go grab, oh. You're not a cricket, I'm pretty sure. Did I catch the butterfly instead? <laughs> that butterfly just like wiggled right under the net. And I unintentionally caught it, but what about this guy? Is he a cricket? Nope, he's just a long locust. All right. Well, let's go get our fortune cookies and we'll go open them up, you guys, and turn in the little slips of paper to Tommy and Timmy. I feel bad, Mary, like that's the first thing she's ever asked me for something. And I don't have any crickets. If I had my entomology office in my house already where I had all my extra bugs stored, then I could do it, but we can't do it right now. Oh, and let's look at the mush, the mush stool. So let's see what the mush stool looks like. Another one, my little appetite. I couldn't remember if that's what this was or not. Oh, I'm so happy. I love the little appetites. And then I'm going to put the gold nugget up here. And then why not display the monarch butterfly on the other side? Oh, that's so cool. All right, and anything else I need to drop off? I don't think so. All right, so let's grab the fortune cookies because they're our new Sunday thing that we'll do. And I did get a little bit rambly today, but I promise we'll we'll stick, we'll stick start sticking to things. All right, there they are. All right, let's go eat some delicious fortune cookies. We'll pop over to visit. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bathhouse wall we can sell. The pop, the flower pop carpet is the one I'm pretty sure is a... Um, Sahara exclusive, so we might not want to sell that just yet. Dun dun! dun. All right, so let's wiggle up. We'll go to Reese, and then we're gonna go eat so many fortune cookies. I'm very excited about that. Mary, I got you a long locust, maybe. Okay, maybe I can. Ah, okay, so she won't take a long locust. I feel bad for Mary. Yeah, if I had my entomology room, I would be able to do it, but not today. Not today. And we do need to put a new fossil up for sale in here anyway. Hello, Reese. I'm going to put something up for sale. I would like to put something up for sale. 
I would like to sell our little Petra skull. All right, and I want to sell it for 9,999. Whoops, not that many <laughs> bells because the villagers will actually buy it for that much too. There we go. And I think I heard Big Top get really excited. <gasps> Big Top, do it. Yes, get the Spino Skull. Get the Spino Skull. Do it, do it, do it. It's really interesting to see which one of the fossil pieces they decide to buy too. Yes, I have even more money now. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you guys, this is fantastic. I love that we sell excess skulls to the villagers because skulls, that sounded really weird. <laughs> excess fossils to the villagers because they actually display some of them in their homes sometimes and that just cracks me up all right all right another 2,000 bells thank you very much all right so let's go you guys now we're going to head on up and we're going to eat our fortune cookies and see if we get any useful slips that we can turn into Tommy and Timmy. And that will have been a very successful Sunday. I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to do a dream tour today, unfortunately. But next week, hopefully, we will be back on target with being able to do dream tours. Because, oh my goodness, when I go on those dream tours, you guys inspire me so much on things I want to do in Moss Tree. I'm just finally starting to feel like I'm beginning to understand how to do everything. There we go. How to do everything in my little village and how to make it look really nice. Big Top, wow, you're really out shopping quite a bit today. He's already up here again. All right, so let's go ahead and nibble some things. It's my very first fortune cookie. What'd I get? There was a fortune inside, let's see. A green hat may be just the thing to inspire you towards adventure. <laughs> and then what about this one? There was a fortune inside. Let's see. Power is often fleeting. Ooh. So green hat and power. I wonder if you like tr like quadruple your fortunes when you just eat them all in one day. You cannot put a value on your life unless you have 100 gold coins. Oh my. It's getting a little dark. All right, let's try this one. And what does this one say? There was a fortune inside. Great artists aren't always appreciated in their own time. Oh, that's so true. And really, that, that just is even more argument to go with the flow of your own joy, you guys. If you're not hurting anybody, including yourself, then you should just go with the flow of joy. When all else fails, never forget to show them your moves. <laughs> I wonder what these are going to get us. And the last fortune. This is kind of hilarious. All right. It says, a door that does not open is not closed to you. It only needs a key. Ooh, that one was nice and deep at the very end. All right. So, are any of these good? I watch the story during the week. If you ever need to talk to my brother, please come back Monday or later. How can I help you? Uh, I got a lucky ticket, I think? You would like to exchange it for a prize, correct? Then please show me the lucky ticket you want to trade in. Can I tell you all of them? Okay, fortune number eight. We'll start there. I guess maybe we'll just start eating the fortunes. Congratulations! The prize for number eight is a hero's cap. Here's your prize. So lucky. Are they always the same? Yay! Thank you, Timmy! <laughs> All right, so what did we get? A hero's cap. <gasps> you guys! That's the coolest! I highly approve! 100% approval rate. 100%. Oh my gosh. I got another lucky ticket. What else are you going to give me? I am so happy. I will... I, I love these things. I will be walking around with my DS all the time now. There we go. Number 23. What do we get? A superstar! Okay, so we just got another prize. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, and then what is the superstar? Can I look at it? Ah, okay, we'll have to go home to look at it. The hero's cap is just the best. Okay. All right, so I have to I wish you could turn these in in bulk, but I guess you're supposed to get them like, you know, one one at a time. So let's try 18. And then we'll see what we got all together. A coin. Okay. All right, so hang on guys. I'm going to trade all of these in and then I will meet you at the house when we will look at what we managed to get. <sighs> All right, so we're home and I have a lot of special new treasures to show you guys. So that was really fun. I love that. We definitely have to save up our fortune cookies and like use them all at once, once a month. But what we managed to get are actually the hero's cap and the hero's boots. So I am actually wearing hero's boots right now. Now my little feetsies are bare, but we have the hero's boots to finally replace the patched shoes that we managed to get. So let me go ahead and put these on. 
ah, it's so cool. The patch shoes that we got when it was Halloween. And then we didn't manage to get the item I was really going for. There's a couple things that are now added in to fortune cookie prizes that I'm really, really going for. But we got a superstar. Oh my gosh. <gasps> do you hear that? That's so cool. So it even has music that plays when it's out. We have a coin. Does it play? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> we have a superstar, we have a Wii U console, we have a coin. So there's a little Wii U console right here. Uh, de wait, desert escape, island escape? Wait, what? Um, okay, that's gonna have to wait, but I think that that is the new game that everybody has been talking about and I think maybe you can get meow coupons from it. So I'm really, really excited now. <gasps> you guys, this is amazing. This is totally worth it. And then we also got a blue falcon. So we got a tiny little blue falcon display. It's not terribly big. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, so these were all really, really good things. Not what I was going for, but I think next time, in, instead of doing the, um, instead of doing our dream tour, we might have to try this desert island escape game because I've heard rumor that if you get the highest score on this, you can get meow coupons. And you guys have also told me you can get meow coupons every day if you scan in one of your amiibos. You can get little bonus meow coupons every day. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into those things. But under all of this excitement, all of the new things we still need to be a good mayor and I need to start paying off more of my my personal debts I need to start paying off the debts on the two new buildings that we have up for town for our museum and our garden and I need to continue working on building the public works projects and sorting out flowers and learning how to put down paths and there's just so much and I love it I love how every item we see has a little history and a little story behind it and I love how I get to share all of this with you guys so I will see you all next time bye bye